It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all here on this very happy occasion. We are meeting together to celebrate as Finlay and Sarah join in marriage. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your root was so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because that is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It is not the declaration or promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches they find they are one tree and not two. I'm sure you'll agree that Sarah looks absolutely beautiful today. She does. Um, and I have to say when she was born she looked just as bonny, she was lovely. She was a wee bit wrinklier, but she was just as bonny. I, Finlay Harold Stubbs. I, Finlay Harold Stubbs. Accept you, Sarah Violent Man in marriage. Accept you, Sarah Violent Man. In marriage. In marriage. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a token of my love and commitment. Token of my love and commitment. From this day forward, I will love and hold you. From this day forward, I will love and hold you. For better or worse, for richer or poorer. For better or worse, for richer or poorer. Finlay and Sarah, it gives me the greatest of pleasures in declaring you married and pronouncing you husband and wife. Finlay, you may kiss your wife. I thought it was a real measure of Finlay when he came to me and said, I'd like to take Sarah's hand in marriage. It's the type of guy he is, and I was delighted to say, to say yes. But I did say, hopefully you'll take the one that's never out of my wallet. <laughs> Today's the day that Paul and I are supposed to welcome Finlay into our family, but the truth is he's been part of our family for a long time now, and are thrilled he's now officially our son-in-law. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
So on behalf of my lovely new wife and I, a biggest thank you goes to all of you for coming. I'd also like to thank Brian and Paula for having such a beautiful, intelligent, kind and caring daughter <laughs> who they know more than most can be a bit high maintenance at times. <laughs> and of course, for giving me the privilege of being her husband. I've known Finley for such a long time since we were schoolboys. We first met at a school football tournament and I remember it was a, the competition we were playing and I didn't know who Finley was, he didn't know who I was, but I remember seeing him, he was a big lad with big massive curly hair. So I was playing for Hamilton and he was playing for Donaldson's. And I remember that time I was a skinny wee lad and he was a big, big brute of a guy and he kept hacking and tackling and knocking me out. So there was nothing I could do, so I thought, oh, just, just forget it. So when we won, he was obviously in a bad mood and, and disappeared. And we parted after that game and we, we never saw each other again. Then all of a sudden, our school, after a few years, closed down and moved to a new school. Donaldson's, funnily enough. And then I met Finlay. So Finlay and I have remained the best friends, great friends ever since we met. And since we first met, he told me that he met somebody new that he, he was saying that he wants to get in contact and one day that he's wanting to get out with Sarah and then he finally did it. And I now realise that my, my best friend, when he said that he was the one he wanted to marry, I'm, I'm over the moon. No, my only real advice is to look after each other no matter what. Remember that who your best friend is and support each other in everything that you want to do together. In my experience, and I hope Paula agrees, a good marriage is not about having someone to live with, it's about building a friendship that means you have someone you can't live without. So finally, I mean, I would really like to, to thank Sarah for taking me as her husband, and thank you. I mean, I realise that this might be a little bit out of the ordinary, but I would like to raise a toast to the bride, my wife. My wife, I mean, never before have I met such an intriguing lady, degree educated with absolutely no common sense. <laughs> she, she's my soulmate, she's my best friend, and above all, she could be my phone a friend, if, if I could use a phone. <laughs> yeah.
But seriously, I think you'll all agree that she's looking wonderful today. So, let's do it. Let's get another toast to Sarah. Yay.